Hello and welcome to Last Second Medicine channel. In this video, we will talk about cystic fibrosis. This is one of the commonest life-threatening autosomal recessive disorder caused by multiple mutations of a single gene on the long arm of chromosome 7. The most common mutation is a deletion of phenyl alanine at the position 508, so called F508 which is responsible for about 70% of all cases of cystic fibrosis. The gene codes for a multifunction protein cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator which is active in the membrane of epithelial cells. It operates as a chloride channel and regulates other ion channels. The defect leads to a combination of defective chloride secretion and increased sodium absorption across airway epithelium. The major effects are on the lungs and pancreatic exocrine function where there are thick tenacious secretions. The changes in the composition of airway surface liquid predisposes the lungs to chronic pulmonary infections and bronchiectasis. There are more than 1500 mutations known to reduce the function of chloride channels. The incidence is 1 in 2000 live births mostly affecting Caucasians and 1 out of 25 people carry a copy of the faulty gene. In neonates, this disease presents as failure to thrive, meconium ileus and rectal prolapse, while in children and young adults, it may present with respiratory symptoms like cough, wheeze, recurrent infections, bronchiectasis, pneumothorax, hemoptysis, respiratory failure and core pulmonale. GI symptoms include symptoms related to pancreatic insufficiency like diabetes mellitus and steatorrhea, distal intestinal obstruction syndrome which is also known as meconium ileus equivalent. There may be gallstones and cirrhosis of liver. Other features of the disease include male infertility because the vas deferens is not developed, osteoporosis, arthritis, vasculitis, nasal polyps, sinusitis, and hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy are other features. Signs may include finger clubbing, cyanosis, and bilateral coarse crackles. Diagnosis is made with sweat test and sweat sodium and chloride is more than 60 millimoles per liter. Gene testing should also be done. Screening for known common cystic fibrosis mutations should be considered. Fecal elastase is a simple and useful screening test for exocrine pancreatic dysfunction. Other blood tests which are usually done include full blood count, urea and electrolytes, liver function test, coagulation profile, vitamin A, D, E levels, annual glucose tolerance testing. Whenever there is infection, cuff swab and sputum culture should be considered. Radiological investigations include chest x-ray which may show hyperinflation and bronchiectasis, abdominal ultrasound may show fatty liver, cirrhosis and features of chronic pancreatitis. Spirometry may reveal obstructive defect. Aspergillus serology and skin testing should be considered because 20% of patients develop allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and fecal fat analysis in cases of steatorrhea and chronic diarrhea. Management should be multidisciplinary including physicians, GPs, physiotherapists, specialist nurse and dietitian with attention to psychosocial aspect as well as physical well-being because the usual symptoms include symptoms related to chest so physiotherapy with a focus on airway clearance techniques and postural drainage should be done. Antibiotics are given for acute infective exacerbations and prophylactically. In initial days like in infancy and childhood, the usual infecting organism is Staph aureus, which is treated with penicillins. But later on, chronic pseudomonas infection is an important predictor of survival. And in these cases, the prophylactic antibiotics should be considered. The prophylaxis can be given with thrice weekly azithromycin or with nebulized colomycin or dobramycin. Mucolytic agents like DNS or nebulized hypertonic saline is very important as well as bronchodilators. Annual chest x-ray surveillance is recommended. Advanced lung disease is managed with oxygen 
diuretics in cases of core pulmonale and non-invasive ventilation. Lung or combined heart and lung transplantation can be considered but the availability of donor organ is an issue and post-transplant survival is 5 years. Gastrointestinal symptoms should also be treated like malabsorption, gastroesophageal reflux disease and distal obstruction syndrome. Pancreatic enzyme replacement and fat-soluble vitamin supplements should be given to these patients. Also, deoxycholic acid for impaired function and when cirrhosis is developed, it may require liver transplantation. For early detection of cystic fibrosis related diabetes, annual screening with oral glucose tolerance test should be performed from 12 years onwards and once it is developed, it should be managed with insulin. Screening of osteoporosis should be done with DEXA scanning and once detected, it should be treated. Management of arthritis, sinusitis and vasculitis if they are present. There is male infertility due to the absence of development of vas deferens and fertility can be sought by microaspiration of sperms and in vitro fertilization. Genetic counseling should be done in all cases. Evacaftor and Lumacaftor are two drugs now specifically available for the management of cystic fibrosis and they target the CFDR protein. Evacaftor is a CFDR potentiator and it targets getting defects in disease causing CFDR mutations including G55-1D. Evacaftor increases the open probability of CFDR channels and has been shown to improve clinical outcomes like lung function, weight and lung disease stability in cystic fibrosis patients more than 6 years old. Lumacaftor is a CFDR corrector and has been shown to correct F508 del CFDR misprocessing and increase the amount of cell surface localized protein. Evacaftor and Lumacaftor combined therapy for patients with F508 del has shown improved lung function and reduced pulmonary exacerbations. Median survival is now almost 41 years in UK, although a baby born today would expect to live longer. I hope you liked this video. If so, please like, share with your colleagues and subscribe to this channel. And share your thoughts in the comment section below.